Hello everyone, Steve here with a new clock that I just released on my mini factory. And it is a complete redesign of my first clock shown over here, but optimized to make it easier to build and much more reliable. Uh, recently, I displayed all of my clocks at the Bay Area Maker Fair, and it gave me an opportunity to have all of my clocks running for six days and see how they work. And this was the most reliable of all of my weight-driven clocks. Uh, some of the other clocks were a little bit fiddly. This clock probably stopped once or twice. Of course, it got, got a lot of finger pokes and touching and a lot of people were messing with it. Um, but the new clock, solid as a rock. And in addition, it, was, it has been redesigned so that it's super easy to build. The, the bill of materials compared to the first clock, the bill of materials on this one is about half. Uh, there's no complex machining steps. Uh, it brings a lot of the simplified construction techniques of my newer clocks. For example, the winding key is just three millimeter rod that goes into holes and that makes it easier to build. In addition, it's much more reliable that when you wind it, it just feels solid and secure. The original design has a brass rod that needs a little bit of machining and there's also stainless steel bushings on this clock. Those are, have all been eliminated and makes this clock just much more reliable. The new clock has several features. For example, the pendulum rod just simply drops into position without using glue. Uh, some simplifications, like for example, the, the adjustment for the time is just two printed nuts, similar to some of my other clocks. There's a lot of other features that have been copied from my other clocks. Uh, there's a solid connection between the pallet and the pendulum arms. That means when, when the pendulum swings, the pallet moves. There's no slippage there. There's adjustable standoffs on the back of the clock that allows the, the frame of the clock to hang reliably against a wall, even with an uneven wall. You can adjust for that, and that really prevents frame sag. This clock is just as accurate as any of my other weight-driven clocks, typically one to two minutes per week. But the small size of the gears means that they turn very easily. And if you notice, the escapement is very responsive. There's no lag. A couple of the larger clocks and when the, when the pendulum swings, you would see the escapement really a little bit sluggish to, to push on the pallet. And when it operates like that, it's losing a lot of energy. Small size of the gears means there's very little inertia needed to get them to start spinning again when the, the pendulum goes past. And this clock just has a lot of energy. So, Right now, it's running on about 6.3 pounds of weight and set up for almost an eight-day runtime. Check it out on my mini factory, uh, even if, if you have the old design or some of my other clocks. This clock is well worth checking out. Similar to all of my other clock designs, it comes with a fairly complete assembly guide yeah, showing, yeah, starts off with a description of several of the features and then goes through printing the gears, cutting, you know, the, the metal parts, and then a step by step instruction of, you know, how to add the gears into the clock uh, makes the assembly fairly straightforward. And there's also at the very beginning a quick start guide showing the, the pages of what parts to print. 
a cross reference for the gears so that the descriptions later in the manual it's easy to identify which gears and which spacers are used in the clock and then the bill of materials which is a very reduced list compared to most of my other clocks here's a close-up of the clock in operation and especially the escapement if you notice how energetic the escapement is when the the pallet moves past the escapement moves immediately there's there's no delay you're just very responsive that's due to the small size gears that's what makes this clock extremely robust and reliable Here's the, the winding mechanism. Again, it was, everything has been re, redesigned to make this clock easy to build and not only easy to build, but as soon as you put it together, the clock starts working right away and it should continue running for many years. So I really like this design. Check it out on my mini factory and Leave comments down below if you like it and like to hear what your comments are. Thanks a lot. Bye.